So consider a family car and consider a racing car. Both of them, let's say, have the same amount of fuel. You know, they're both capable of doing the same amount of work, but the racing car is able to travel much faster. This is because the engine of the racing car can convert the chemical energy of the fuel into useful energy at a much faster rate. So the engine is set to be more powerful. You know, you're gonna hear things like, oh, it has so many horsepowers or whatever. Ultimately, what we're trying to say is that this engine is able to do work faster. And power is simply, you know, a measure of the rate of doing work. As a result, you're gonna have to read this in uh, joules per second or watts. That's uh, something that I think you've seen probably um, many times already. Uh, and I'll actually write it out like that so you can see it, watts. And the symbol for that is uh, an uppercase W. So let us take an example. Well, you know, let's say you've thrown a ball that's 120 grams in mass, right? So again, let's take a ball example. Ball, 120 grams, uh, thrown uh, at 15 meters per second. And it went from, it accelerated to final velocity of 15 meters per second in, in 0 0.14 seconds. So let's figure out what the average power gain of this ball was during the time you threw it, right? So what's the gain in the kinetic energy? Well, let's take that out first. So the kinetic energy is half mv squared, which is half times 0 0.12 kilograms. Remember to convert to SI units. And then you have uh, 15 meters squared, 15 meters per second squared, excuse me, which brings us to 13 and a half joules. So what's the power gain here? It's basically 13.5 joules because it arrived uh, divided by 0 0.14 uh, seconds uh, because it took that long to accelerate to 15 meters per second. And that gives you a 96 watt uh, power gain. So let's say you have a car that is traveling at a constant velocity of V along a straight level road. Uh, however, this car, st the engine of the car still needs to do some kind of uh, work against a frictional force. So let's denote this force by F. Obviously, you know, if you're not accelerating, you're going at a constant velocity, the engine sh needs to supply an equal sized force F in the direction of the motion of the car, right? So the work done uh, in, a, in, in a certain amount of time, so the, the delta W being done in a certain amount of time has to be equal to the force that uh, this uh, th that's that has been applied over a, a certain amount of distance, right? Um, and as a result of that, um, we can we can further write it as power or delta P is equal to the force times the delta S divided by the delta T. Now, what is delta S divided by delta T? Hang on, right? Delta S divided by delta T is just the velocity of this car. So you can write power as force times velocity. You can do that. That's appropriate to say. So let's use some numbers here. Um, assume we were traveling at 27 kilometers per hour. The V is equal to 27 kilometers per hour. And the frictional force is equal to 15 newtons. Well then, quite simply, um, if you convert the 27, and I should have write, written my units here actually, uh, shame on me. Um, if you convert that, that becomes 7.5 meters per second. So the power in this uh, situation is gonna be your uh, force, which is 50, times the speed, which is seven and a half. So it's 375 watts are being, um, uh, th th that's, that's the uh, power gain that this uh, car is experiencing. I wanna end this uh, chapter with one topic that's actually not on your syllabus, but I think it is worth noting uh, 
uh, for your own sake because it's something that you will encounter again and again in your daily life. So guys, think of this as the bonus round. Well, every household has to pay some kind of an electricity bill, right? And this, your energy doesn't come free of charge. So you have to realize that what you are paying for is electrical energy, not electrical power. Let me say that again. You are paying for electrical energy, not the rate at which you're using it. You're just using for how, you're paying for how much is being used in total. Now, many electrical appliances in home have power on the order of kilowatts, and we use them for hours and hours. The joule as a unit of energy is really small. So I'll give you an example, and this blew my mind when I, when I saw it. Um, a hair dryer, which is something we use like, you know, after a shower every day, like no matter whether you're, uh, you know, uh, a, a guy or a girl, you will use uh, a hair dryer. A hair dryer, let's say for the sake of argument, has uh, it is rated for about um, like a good one would be rated for one and a half kilowatts, right? And you are using it for fifteen minutes every time, on average. Uh, and if you're using it for for fifteen uh, minutes, how much energy have you used? Well, let's think about it for a second. You know, you've used fifteen hundred uh, fifteen hundred joules per second for fifteen minutes times 60 seconds, which works out to 1.35 million joules. That's a lot of joules. Now, you clearly don't get it, for, uh, you know, uh, your electric bill with millions of joules on it. You got it for kilowatt hours because it's more convenient to state it as kilowatt hours. Um, so one kilowatt hour, written like so, one kilowatt hour, is the energy that you've expended when uh, work is done at the rate of one kilowatt for one hour. Or if I'm gonna convert that into joules, I'm gonna have to write it like 1000 watts times 60 seconds times 60 uh, minutes, which works out to 3.6 times 10 to the 6 joules or 3.6 megajoules. It's just more convenient to write it like this. Uh, you know, sometimes people refer to kilowatt hour as a unit of energy. They're not wrong. You have to actually work it out to realize that it's joules and not joules per second. Um, and electricity meters in homes usually so you know uh, the measuring units they're showing is uh, one unit is one kilowatt hour uh, so like I said this is an additional topic uh, not required for a levels in the Cambridge uh, syllabus but I thought it'd be good to cover it because this is something you know you will be using uh, every time you pay electric electricity bill well thank you very much I will see you for chapter 7